What's cracking, public faders out there? Welcome back to the Contaminated Dungeon and to this week's episode of the Fade the Public podcast, which is presented by Big Dogs Gotta Eat Fantasy Football, which is presented by my personal YouTube channel, <laughs> I being Nick Ercolano, and I'm joined today as always by my league mates, Animal and Snacks. We are three young fantasy football ninjas with headaches. I know I got young a headache. One. Young, 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 playing against each other in a high stakes fantasy football league known as the E Town Get Down. This is the E Town Get Down's 11th year in existence. Every week, myself, Animal, and Snacks will hop onto this podcast and discuss everything 2019 fantasy football, helping you prep for the 2019 fantasy football season in a way that's related to the times and to pop culture. We're also diving behind the scenes and showing you everything related to our high stakes E Town Get Down League, our league meetings, choosing our draft order a vlog of our live draft day party, always on Labor Day Monday, don't fuck around, in-season weekly matchup breakdowns and rivalries, and of course, the best part of our league, the loser punishments. <laughs> so that's what we're here for. That's why you pay us the big bucks. In this week's episode, there have been a lot of free agency movements already. Uh, nothing officially signed yet because you can't officially sign for another couple days. By the time y'all are watching this, I believe the contracts should be inked. Should be inked. But we're going to talk about the Antonio Brown trade. We're going to be talking about Nick Foles signing and all the free agent signings that have gone on today. At the end of the episode, Snacks and I are going to have a Jeopardy showdown. The world's first ever fantasy football Jeopardy showdown with an insane loser punishment. You're looking at a... You need punishment from a, a redemption from Christmas Eve. Yeah, oh, that yeah, was... that's right. That remember, was an remember when I came back, Hansen versus Hansen? My I stomach came all still back. hurts from that shit. Drinking that nasty <laughs> ass whiskey. Thank God that punishment ain't that bad. Woo! Even though it might be worse. It could be. It's a little bit embarrassing, this one. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it. It's that's, not why fun. I, that's why I made it. It's not All right, fun. so let's hop into the content, boys. Make sure that if you're enjoying the video, you scroll down about three clicks with your thumb, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and go follow us on the Twitter, on Instagram, on whatever. That will all be linked down below. Let's hit the music. <laughs> First thing to dive into is this Antonio Brown trade. I put a video up on my channel yesterday that was kind of in-depth. I talked about AB, um, his impact, what would happen fantasy-wise. I talked about Juju, James Washington, and Vance McDonald. What is your take on AB? I mean, this is only a bad thing for him, right? It couldn't be worse. I mean, for like performance-wise, for him trying to be on a winning team, it's not good. I don't give a fuck about performance. Like, fantasy football. He don't care about winning team. That, that, that has, you just like, wanted the, the money, that's it? That's Of course, but that has nothing to do with... Fantasy value-wise, I mean, they signed the left tackle today. I think that that offensive line formulates a little bit. I think Gruden is going to be hell-bent on getting him the ball. His I, don't, I don't think it could hurt that bad. Yeah. I mean, where his are you numbers taking, are going to Where dip. are you taking A.B.? With the Raiders now? I think in our last mock draft, we had him what? It was like late second, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I, I would keep, I'd him keep him there. there yeah. I'd keep him there. I, I think I would probably stick to Top early third. Top of the third? third. Uh, yeah, I would say early. All right. Early Let's third. I think mid, I, late second, early third. I think he might surprise. I think the efficiency numbers are bound to drop. I think he'll drop. outperform that, but I, think, I just don't want to take that risk drafting him earlier. Right. right. There's no reason to take a, a, the risk on a team that doesn't score points, really. They're not a great offense. Yeah. And Derek Carr, we still don't know what Derek Carr is. No, he can't tell the, the ball He had that one field. good year, but that was with Jack Del Rio and. They exactly. were going for on fourth down, extending drives. They were slinging it. They do pass a lot, a lot of lucky offense, plays, though, but yeah. it's still like it was a 6% um, or, yeah, 6% decrease in like pass attempt ratio. The Steelers were throwing the ball more than any team in the NFL last year. So when I look at AB, it's like, yeah, it, it's risky there. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, they have no one else on that offense. No one. Like literally no one. They no have Jordy one. Nelson, who's so He's fucking a fossil. old. Yeah. Jared Cook is a free agent, so he might He's be not gone. Be, He's not, not coming. Do they resign him? Like if, if – is it crazy to think Antonio Brown gets 180 targets next year? No, it's not crazy at all. Which is like, it's okay, how do you, you kind of have to how, put him. How risky, he, how risky is it really then? But that's why I put him where we where we yeah. drafted him, like saying he was still in the Steelers. That's mm -hmm. what we said. Say he's still in the Steelers. I put him mid-second round, late second round. He's, he's still, still Antonio talent. Brown. He's still Antonio Brown. And right, Derek exactly. Carr is not like some piece of shit He's not some scrub, yeah. He's, he's, he's shown that he has flashes of... of being a you know, yeah, a but pro. he can never. He was an MVP candidate two years he ago. He never elevated. I know, I know. Cooper's not the yeah, same he, as as Brown no, is, but no. he never elevated anyone. We never saw like someone be with Carr and him elevated up to the level that right. we, that we want to see Antonio Brown. At. Right. I also, I also think it's also a different system now. Like Gruden. First of all, I, fantasy perspective outside. 
I have no idea what that team is doing. Dude. But I have, <laughs> it, Gruden's running that team into the ground. But either way, you have to think that after not signing Mac and all these miscues that they did, that Antonio Brown coming in, you're going to think that Gruden wants to get that guy the ball as much as possible. Yeah. Like you said, 180 targets, that's not out of the realm. It's not out of the realm. Only because, like, it's not – they'll I, – I think they're going to draft someone, a wide receiver in that first round. I hope they don't use one of their, their – Early, early picks on DK Metcalf. Oh, that'd be terrible. Oh, God. I, I think they're going to end up using one of their first-round picks on, like, a Nikhil Harry. At the, I think they have the 24th pick, so I would imagine yeah. that they're going to look for a wide receiver in that range because, like, out, it's really, like, Seth Roberts, they need Jordy Nelson. Yeah. Like, they have no, nothing. They don't have a clear cut They need two. someone no. else. No. So I, Jordy if, Nelson, how about Paris he Campbell in the slot year, on that like, halfway through the season? What's that? Didn't Jordy Nelson say he was going to retire halfway through the season last year? I think he did retire halfway through the season. Yeah, like, Do we even know if he's alive? Did. I don't yeah, know. I mean, he's in the graveyard. He's yeah, in the, he's, with he's every, in the along with everybody else. Snacks was graveyard. Yeah, they got nothing going on there. So, like, it's a bad situation. But volume is key, right, when, when you're talking about fantasy football. Hey, volume um, is the key. So, what does, this, what does this do with Derek Carr? I'm still, like, literally not even thinking about him. No. E- even in two quarterback leagues, I don't no. think I am. I am. Uh, in two quarterback leagues, I'll take a gamble on him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As my third round, quarterback, yeah, when I when I need a buy, be a bye week guy. I'd definitely plug in there. But just, just I would have him sitting there just in case. You never know what's gonna. There's happen. There's nothing about Maybe. that offense. That There's like, always a quarterback that goes down early in the season. Something happens. He could be that guy that you know. I would rather. Okay. Slot, uh, oh, fuck! I forgot to bring my airsoft gun. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna yeah, put a gun yeah, to your head. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say next year, Derek Carr, Andy Dalton. Assuming Dalton's the quarterback for this. Ooh, <laughs> Derek Carr. Derek Carr. Yeah. I'm gonna take Carr too. Only. I'm going to take Dalton. Those mid-round quarterbacks are only as good as the weapons around him, man. And, and yeah, the Vans have and, him. And Dalton's Joe got Mixon, him. Green, Boyd, Mixon. I, I tell you, Dalton has disappointed yeah. me as, like, the ginger representative for the NFL. I could see. This is, so I feel like, like I knew it was going to be a little more It's personal. a little more personal than it is, like, production-wise. Dalton's got the weapons. He's got Mixon. He's got, he's got Boyd. He's got Green. I, I don't think he can go Carr there. I don't think he can. You probably can. I think it's got to go. You back. probably did it. No. Car or. But I will say, I will say, I think Gruden. I I really do think Gruden goes hell bent on Derek. Throw that man the ball every fucking chance you have. Yep. Yeah. And that's the only reason why I like think you're, of him. You're right. I, I think I think thinking about it now and having this conversation yesterday when I made the video, I was totally off and I was like, third round is when I would take him. I, I think he needs to have a little bit more consideration, just given how much volume he might. He's gonna get. get there. He's gonna get a lot. Yeah. Um, Derek Carr or Matt Stafford. See, I, I would take Carr. This isn't even close. I would go Stafford. Here. Yeah, I, I don't like Stafford. I don't either. I never really liked he, Stafford, but he's I think it's just a, get, a better quarterback. Maybe I'm thinking too much with my heart and not my head because Stafford's fucked me so many times. Yeah. Well, the, last year was the first year in like eight years that he had a down year. He did. He had a very but that's, down that's going to happen when they get rid of, you know, Golden Tate's yeah, gone. Marvin Jones system, is hurt for the whole year. Coach. Right. Gallaudet, Garrett Blunt is Gallaudet's the main runner. Step, yeah. Gallaudet's going to be a beast. Yeah. So it was the same. Uh, you remember coming into last year, people were excited about Detroit because they had that upgraded offensive line, right? They got Frank Ragnall. They added some pieces for agency. Yeah. They they still they graded out as like a top eight pass blocking line. Yeah. But everything around Stafford went to shit. Yep. I think Marvin Jones operating as the wide receiver two there, right? Like that's what he is realistically. He ain't he's not a one. one. No. He's not Have a Kenny Galladay operate as the one. Marvin Jones fully healthy for sixteen. Right. You got some good weapons along with Karon Johnson in the running game, man. I think that Detroit is is in for a pretty good bounce back. No, I honestly like statistically speaking Which adds and some pieces today too. Mm-hmm. And theoretically speaking, yeah, he's I like Amendola. Yeah. He's over he's over Carr. But yeah. I Maybe it's a personal vendetta. You're gonna need to get. These Maybe I'm way too high on car. Maybe I'm way too high on car right I now. I think you are. I think car is like my 26 or 27. Yeah, ranked quarterback I don't know. Fantasy. I think yeah. that offensive line improved today. Um, Trent Brown, left tackle, he's blocking. Yeah, they're gonna throw the ball all game. They don't have a running. I know. They, they like are. they're gonna throw the ball all game. This draft is gonna be absurd for the Raiders. If they get a tight yeah. end, like I like a Tyler Eifert there. Like if they if they could sign a Tyler Eifert. Der- I'm telling you, Dude, Derek Carr's not a bad quarterback. He was in MVP consideration two years ago. Yeah. He's not a scrub. That's why I'm saying like, we, we don't know. Just a lot we don't know. You're year. right. But as of this speaking, yeah, you're right. Stafford and uh, Dalton, you probably put him over. I, I I can't argue it. I can't. Yeah. Personal vendettas aside, Carr, yes. Carr is someone that I can make a mistake on. Carr is someone that I know already that I'm just... It's probably it's so early. It's March, and I'm already knowing I'm fading him for the yeah. entire year. Yeah. And like, there will be people who are like, I like Carr as as a sleeper late round quarterback or something like that. And it's possible that he does that. And I'm completely off it for the wrong reasons, but we'll see how it works out. Yeah. Um, other implications. We've got plenty of time. 
I love this opening up for Vance McDonald, right? Oh. Yes. He was yes. a tight end 10 yes. last year. Not a lot of people understand that. I fantasy. drafted him in one of my leagues last year, hoping he was going to have that big year. And yeah, he was a little I hurt. had him he didn't on play my, a lot. Yeah, I had him on my tight end sleeper list, like coming into last year. And then they split the, the snap 50 50 with him and Jesse James. Yeah. No Jesse James well, Jesse just James signed James with is a Detroit. blocking tight end. Blocking tight end, but still took away playtime. You know? I know. So uh, Jesse James out of there. Vance McDonald's in there. AB opening up 169. It's yeah, fun. There's, it's a lot fun. Of, there's a lot of targets in, in yeah. Pittsburgh. It's great, yeah, because we do a fantasy football podcast. So we're talking about the players that are still on the same team that get elevated because of departures. And Vance McDonald is falls into that category. suspect. Love he's that. he's going to be top seven tight end, top six tight end. Yeah, he's so going to be beast. That's what, that's what he said. You said you got yeah. your, I'll, you know, I'll still probably put him around the eight to nine range. Just okay. Because well, still it's in the same there. vicinity. Yeah. This, is, gonna, this is a seven. He has the, the talent and the upside to be that six, seven right. guy. Yeah. But I, yeah, I would prefer the other guys ahead of him. But the, if, if you end up whiffing on those guys, I think Vance is as good as it gets in that. Yeah. Yeah. If you're one of those guys that you're not going to take a tight end in the top three rounds, you're not going to get the Kittle, the Ertz, or the Kelsey. Kelsey. Then there's plenty of those guys too who want to wait. Later. You yeah. could take Vance McDonald and pluck him in every week yep. and like be that. okay. Like you might get a four point production game, but you might you'll you'll you bail get that you'll ball out. And get, he has yeah. he has a week a uh, weekly ceiling not of Kelsey or Kittle, but he has a weekly ceiling of anyone I think outside of those two pretty much on, right. uh, on yes. a given on I agree. A given week. So Vance is good. Love this for Juju. Um, I broke that down like very much in depth, so we won't go too much into this. Very uh, good video. You guys should check it yeah, out. I watched today at work. Did you? Yeah, I did. I appreciate that. No one else is really affected. Let's get into free agency. Nick Foles signs with Jacksonville. Four years, 88. Let's go, Coughlin, baby. Million. Making moves, Coughlin. Coach Coughlin, baby, making so moves. So this, this will be a highly debated circumstance because Jacksonville was so good fantasy-wise two years ago. Maybe not so good, but Leonard Fournette was awesome. That's and, why they were so And the good. defense. And last awesome. year was just miserable. So from this trade happening, I have one name on my list that I, that I really like this move uh, affecting for fantasy next year. I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Uh, the overall offense, like team, and do you think anyone, any pass catchers there are worthy of even – taking in fantasy for jacksonville yes that's who i just fucking talked uh, about for two minutes i mean what do you mean i don't know if there's like a clear like number is it dd westbrook or is it keelan cole who's like the clear number one guy there it's the the problem with jacksonville yeah that is a problem but keelan cole kind of reminds me of an alshon jeffrey type he's long he's lean he's athletic do you remember like the fucking obj catch he made oh last year oh don't, don't was, compare. It, to it was the, beautiful. Don't compare it was it. beautiful. And I I loved Keelan Cole uh, last summer. And I drafted him in like the 14th, 15th round of a lot of the leagues I was in. Obviously, didn't pan out. But I think you take Blake out of the fucking equation. You and actually a guy, somebody could throw the ball. Yeah. And Nick Foles has shown that he likes that big outside receiver in Jeffrey. Yeah. And, and Cole, Cole is that guy. Yeah. So I don't know if I'd so, pin him for a breakout. But I would much rather have a, Cole than DD. He's a sleeper. He's a sleeper. I like I like him as a sleeper. A late round wide receiver you could plug in flex wide receiver three. Absolutely. I I would say Cole over. I, I'm not wide receiver. Did so Westbrook? Deep. I'm not. I was. There's so many I'm not late high round wide receivers. Maybe it's his name. I don't know him. what it is. He he didn't didn't pass my eye test. I didn't love. He his doesn't do it advanced that. I didn't, I was not the biggest fan of him. But Cole is a guy who. I mean, Alshon Jeffrey's a that's that's a pretty good comparison. You know, Jeffrey's a little bigger. He's he's bigger. Yeah, Keelan Cole's six one. I mean, you're putting some good respect on 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 Keelan Cole right there. I like but Cole a lot. Yeah, no, I, I think given the chance, there's good reason too. There's like some good accuracy there. I think and if Foles is gonna if Foles is gonna find that guy in Jacksonville, exactly. it's gonna be him because he did that with Jeffrey and they right. had some games where exactly. it was you know really really good exactly. stuff there. So it's I gonna like be that. him. So if anybody on that team, it's gonna be him. Anything? All right, for Fournette, what what does this do for Fournette for I you? I mean, if the passing game opens up, then yeah, yeah. It might just it can't be a bad thing. No, yeah, it can't. No. It. But do, but does it move He's the needle at all, or is your is no. your needle on Fournette no, strictly no. relevant to his injury? Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Okay, but that's yeah. but this guy's hurt. Fournette's problem wasn't uh, Blake Bortles; it was the fact that he was well, on the field. Well, right. So where it's, 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 I mean, it, they yeah, couldn't throw the ball. They they were stacking on the field. Doesn't in the matter. Box. It doesn't matter. He's on no, the field. I understand that, but he couldn't he couldn't stay on the field, and they also knew the Jaguars were running the football. Yes. So now, now with, with Foles with a competent thrower, with a guy on Keelan Cole and Diddy Westbrook on the outsides. Where they might actually yeah, have a vertical Marquise passing attack, Marquise they might not back. have DJ nine Chark guys in the box. Second round pick. Yeah. yeah. So they have some. You know, some so that's Fournette stays Fournette healthy. Fournette. I think he. I think where he, you, he's got a boost. Where is the earliest? Where is the earliest you're taking Fournette? He's not really even on my board. That's that's 
kind of like problem. like if he falls to me like late and like where's where's falls to you late though because that's the thing you can't just say like i'm fading for net because everyone's gonna be fourth like round. i'm gonna fade see that's not late that's where he's going Fifth. though so you can't be like your favorite. I, I would have said late third yeah like late I'm, third? I'm not yeah I'm i would not, see i wouldn't I'm use saying, my third round pick on Fournette. no he's way too late easy, third early like fourth, fourth if i have the 12th pick in the third round yeah that, I, that, I, it would be late fourth for me, probably fifth. He's like okay. for you when you say he's off your board. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. The guy, he's he's a locomotive. Like he he knows. Look at his rookie year. You yeah. He's but a if he's healthy, runner. I know I know what he can do. It's all just, the if he's healthy. I don't there's, see there's him on the if, sideline. If, see, that's the problem. I hate. I will preface by saying I always stay away from the guys that have ifs 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 yep. ifs. Yep. And he's a big if. I made a big mistake last year. I drafted Doug Baldwin, thinking he'll just tough it out. That's a big mistake and, over Dalen. Anytime, it's not that you can't draft them; it's that you have to factor that into their uh, their draft spot. Right, like you yeah, almost have to bank on him. You have to you know have to he's going to miss down three games. A couple rounds. Mm-hmm. You, you gotta, have to know he's yeah. going to miss three games. So if you're like, I love Fournette because if he stays healthy, he's a fucking third round pick or whatever. You have to take him in the fourth, fifth, even sixth round. Sometimes, right. sometimes you have to fade him completely. We're all yeah. about fading motherfuckers here. Yep. Um. So, we but talk- it's crazy because he's he's a talent. He's a talent. He's I would like talent. to see him stay healthy. So would I. Another talent. Kevin Zeke God Ooh, the Zeke comes Geist. over to the G-Men in exchange for Olivier. How, how do you even say his name? Olivier. Olivier. Uh, Olivier. No, it's actually Olivier Pussy. Ooh, oh. I don't think that's correct. He's one of the worst football players I've ever seen in my life. He's Miz. No, 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 no. Anybody I can debate you guys got him, and I was like, I, was, I don't. Mm. We overpaid we for him. A lot, yeah. of, we a lot over, of quarterback we, pressures. Shut the None fuck! The Don't you ever bring up quarterback pressures? Yeah, a lot to me. of quarterback Seriously. pressures. No no, 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 Max. Because I went out. I went to war with Brown's Twitter on this. I did. I don't know if you guys checked it out, but I, I went did. to war well, with Brown's Twitter. To it. It's like fucking crazy. <laughs> Olivier Vernon is not good. He's not good. He doesn't play the full season. He will miss four plus games. I guarantee you that. The Giants, PFF Ryan Zeitler, what number one pass block? Right? Am I number right or wrong? Pass blocking guard. Yeah. Yeah. That is a massive upgrade. Yeah. The Giants offensive line just got 20 times better. And they traded a fucking bum. Go ahead. So that makes you feel better about Barkley? Yes. Yeah, it does. Does it? Sophomore slump is, you know. Unbelievable. It's looking shaky Is now. he Is he okay. number one over he, Zeke? He moves the needle from not, no longer being on the <laughs> sophomore slump list. All right, guys? Yeah, he might Take Barkley off your slump, slump list. Unbelievable. <laughs> this sophomore slump that blows my so mind. So does he move over? Yeah, does he move over Zeke for you to the one spot? He might. He might. Don't you fucking I still, dare. I still Don't have you to, fucking dare. I still have to do some have analysis. Conviction. The, have conviction. Have conviction. some analysis in the lab first. But okay. okay. No, there's no, nothing has changed yet in my rank. For the passing game, right? Zeller is, is the number one. He's, he's number really one good. He's really card. good. So. I can't believe they got that. I'm so when happy. I, when I great think, trade. Yeah, you should be. When it, was, it was a great trade. trade. I when love I think everything of this about passing that game, though. Is is Eli just at the point where no, like they could put an All Pro line in front of him, and he's it's just not going to put up the fantasy numbers? Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what you Eli, think. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I, like, I, it's not an upgrade to OBJ, Evan Ingram, none of that, right? See, yeah, I'm sure it is, just because you're going to have a little more time. Eli needs two, two and a half, two and a half seconds. But that's two, the two problem. And a half that, that doesn't happen. It's that's not that's not the NFL now. Yeah, that's just like I love Eli. You guys all watch me cry about it. I love him. I love him to death. I do still think he can make throws and whatnot, but not at a consistent basis. No. Like he's not gonna so make that's throws not the all problem. game. It's like he's the problem. The line. He's is the, not problem. the problem. Yeah. The line isn't. The line. It is. A I problem, watch. But I, the line's a problem, I sad but. as fucking is it. I watch every single giant snap, no matter what their record is, no matter what it is. All year last year, I watched every single giant snap. I don't watch red zone. I watch the Giants. That offensive line was very good. That's true. And I Eli fucking wasn't. hate that about you guys. I know. All I know. of we, your, we, our we, fucking we, friends we, need to have the Giants game on instead of the fucking red I know, zone. I know. I know. Well, zone. listen to me. I'm a psychotic Piece fuck. Of I can shit. get into the Kerry Wynn story later. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, which, sure. by the way, very telling. I will not blow him up, though, because he's like my good friend now. Okay. No matter he's where like he goes. He's like my good anyway, friend now. Anyway, it's it's not the offensive line. The offensive line was very good the second half of the year last year. Yeah, you guys really did improve. And they were scoring points. Like Eli could throw the ball. It's not the well, problem. First of all, first but if of you all, get if you bring in a guy the, like the last couple of games of your schedule were pretty weak. You were scoring against the 49ers. I uh, no offense, and, they scored 30 points else? against the Bears. Yeah. So okay. uh, like they were actually moving the ball. Against wait, wait, wait. Who's the uh Quarterback for the Bears that game. The offense scores the against the defense, not against the backup it, it quarterback, af- it Max. It affects the game when you're throwing interceptions. Didn't your defense score a touchdown? They scored one. Okay, so oh, oh, so they scored thirty. They scored it twenty-seven. Matters. They scored twenty-seven points outside of thirty-four. They weren't playing against the still, backup, the backup quarterback on defense. The backup quarterback. Get him, animal. Fucking turning, get him. Turning the ball. That makes over, no sense. Turning the ball over. 
And he's also it does. I mean, I mean you don't understand what he's saying. The defense. No, having, I do understand. I do understand what he's more, saying. Where's the defense? But that Bears down, defense was the number one last year to score. I understand that, but that number football. that defense was number one last year. The Giants. Saquon Barkley was on the twenty yard line of the Giants last year against that Bears team. He ran the ball forty three yards to get in the field goal position before the end of the half. They went up and down the field all game against the Bears defense. Not against Chase Daniel, the backup quarterback. I understand. Oh, he turned the ball over. He turned the ball over once. Once. He turned the ball over once. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, that pissed me off. It's, that pissed I, I me off. Tell. That won't piss you, me off. You got the look in your eyes. Let's move over to... But if we get Haskins or Rosen, that offense is electric. I'm, I'm going to sign my three points. Happens. Electric. In overtime. Carlos so. Hyde signs with the Chiefs. One great. year, like $2 million or something like that. Now, most of the people that I follow on Twitter, their reaction is that him signing solidifies Damian Williams as a starter because that means they're not going to take a running back within the top three rounds and thus challenge Damian Williams or sign a free agent, you know, a bigger name than Carlos Hyde. Do you guys agree with that? Fantasy purposes. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Where does this leave Damian Could, Williams for you now? I mean, I still put him up there. I think he's the guy. Yeah. I do. I Carlos Hyde. It's his the job Jagu- to lose. Exactly. The, the Jaguars traded a fifth-round pick for him. They cut him. Yeah. Like, fifth-round picks. The NFL teams hoard draft picks. Like, they hoard them. Yeah, they're ridiculous. They hoard them. Yeah. To trade him yeah. for a fifth-round pick and then cut him. I know. That means, you know, that means something. I think they brought him in for insurance. I think Damian Williams is the clear-cut guy. I think so. they just and that over under we did last week. Fournette was he's a going under, still. way under. He's way going under. way under. Way he under. actually this he's probably this signing RB1. actually moves him up a lot. He's for probably me. In a top twelve running back. I was going to say. I think I, you have to argue. I would have said top fifteen, top twelve. Yep. Yeah, you know what? It's probably top fifteen because I think you still have the mm, people will argue this, but I still think just because it's a relatively unknown, we have such a small sample size on him, right? So we have we, we don't know if he could do it for the sixteen games. Yeah, be the workhorse. Right. I was just going to say. I that. still think you need to put him behind the Joe Mixons and the Dalvin Cooks, who are going to be like the, the 10, guys that have already 12. shown you for a full season. Yeah, that they can Cook hasn't and actually do. done that, but like yeah, Cooks you got, the you guy this year. Just remember yeah. that. I do like Cook. I'm getting on that board with you, I think. But yeah, I think he's somewhere within the the 11 to like 14 range. That's now. where I would put him. Um, yeah. and, and it wouldn't surprise you to see him finish as a top eight, six nope. back or something in that fucking Chiefs offense. He's, he's got, you know. He took the words right out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's okay. what I do, baby. Uh, yeah, so Carlos Hyde, not a big impact to Damian Williams. If anything, it's a good thing. Uh, we have see, a couple that, that's other. The, hold on. That's the best part about free agency. I'm sorry. Like yeah, go on, go on. A lot of these signings, they impact guys who are like still on the team. Or off the team, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like Damian Williams gets impacted by a guy who signed. Yeah, and so it's a, there's just like well, a multiple effect. It's exactly. Not just like yeah. we don't it's have to not do just the guy who comes in. Who exactly. gives a shit. Yep. Yeah. So and I think this is big for people that are just like casual fans who see that and they're like they're scared away from Damian Williams. Don't. But it's be. like no, no, no. Don't see Carlos Hyde because he's been watched for two years now. Yeah. Damian Williams got the extension from the Chiefs, letting you know that they want him on their team for multiple years. They gave him the work, so it's not like we're projecting the workload. We saw what they wanted to give him down right. the stretch last year. You they know? S- and they signed him early they knew he could yeah they play. did that right away this they knew he could play run. exactly it was a smart savvy move by them so uh so yeah this is if anything this is a good move for Damian Williams yeah I think Carlos Hyde is just more of an insurance plan for the Chiefs 100% because if he goes down Carlos Hyde will be able to fill in and he's a viable fine. back but, yeah I agree like for Carlos two million dollars I'm all in. Damian Williams his stock went way up today for sure um some other low-key signings uh, we won't do any of the defensive side of the ball but we had jameson crowder go to the jets could Ugh, not God. care less i would have rather you, hold on what are they doing i don't know it's, it's too much money i, I would like rather the, than the humphreys player. or beasley why would you Neither. they want stop yeah danny amandola for 20 20 percent of the price okay but like danny amandola is already signed in a yeah. that, guy but danny amandola is already price. signed if you give me the option between crowder beasley and humphreys and you give Crowder 17 mil guaranteed? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? The Jets are going to stay jetting. They're going to stay jetting. Yeah. That is a terrible signing for a guy who plays six games a year. I would have loved to have seen that. That is a terrible sign. I agree. Slot roll. Oh, man. Big fucking terrible sign. beast. Um, That's so. just me. It is just you. So I, I thought it was I, fucking I think Humphreys fantastic. was the best no, option. No, you didn't. You fucking said it was price. bad, too. Frank you lying rat fuck. <laughs> Frank Gore to the Bills. Beast. That's it. Show's over. That's it. We're out. Day two. Love Eli. I love him. I, you guys know I love Eli Manning. I love, Eli too. I I love him more than I love, literally, I love breathing. I love Eli more than I love breathing. But he's done. No, it, it's actually, you really think it's not true? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it's true? Because without breathing, you would never get to enjoy Eli. 
Well, if I kill myself now, I would absolutely. I you wouldn't have to see his fucking miserable downfall. My aunt's year. my aunt's a lawyer. She has all my things written up. I don't really have much of a will, but I said if I died early, I want to be buried in Eli Manning jersey. I love that. That's man. in your will. Huh? You have a will already? No, I said I don't really have one yet. You said you don't really have one. What does that mean? You either have a will or you don't. <laughs> well, my aunt's a lawyer. I live. I live. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> I live with. Yeah, like, no, die. it's a one sentence will that just is bury me in a fucking Eli jersey. <laughs> I, ha- I I live with an aunt who is beyond successful lawyer. She's yeah, well, she's the goat. Shout out Eat Town. Get she's the best man. The, in that she's law, the best. Yeah, law. that's right. That the she, she's the goat. And she does wills and stuff. And I said, the only thing that I need done I'll to do me well. if I, I die well. early, well. I want to be buried in an Eli Manning jersey. Boom. And I want, I said, I'm on eye black on my eyes. That's absurd. All right, let's let's <laughs> let's wrap up these free agents. So Frank Gore goes to the Bills. Lashawn McCoy. Lashawn he's McCoy's gone. not a free he's agent gone. though. No, he's not. But he's, he's not a free no, agent. Well, you think no. they're just gonna cut him? I yeah. heard that he's going back to Philly. That would be an interesting. Damn, Philly's just all about the reunions this year. Uh, Reunion I'm, I'm just like I'm completely out of everything. Buffalo. I'm sure they'll draft someone in the backfield, and then we could talk about it. I think once Buffalo they do and that. Miami are just teams that you're not even going to talk just about. Fans this episode would have been so. This episode yeah. would have been so much more flames if Antonio Brown actually went to Buffalo. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, like we went nuts. We were texting at 11 o'clock at night that night. Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? Where would you have put him then in your rankings? Mm-hmm. Like in Buffalo. Round? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Eighth round. I think he's like a late fourth rounder probably yeah. at that point. All right. Deshaun Jackson goes back to Philadelphia. I'm sitting this one out. Okay. <laughs> Completely understandable. Honestly, for the people and for the mic, I probably have to purchase a new one after this segment. Uh, Deshaun Jackson leaving the Bucks to go to Philly. Like, what is – are are you intrigued? He looked really good with Ryan Fitzpatrick last year. Yes. Well, he's always been one of those guys when he's on the field, he doesn't have a hamstring injury. He can – Outrun pretty much anybody and get the spread the field and get the deep ball. But is I he mean, draftable for you? Like super late. He ma- he makes me like Carson Wentz a lot more. Yeah, but any team he's on the field for, their quarterback gets an upgrade of fantasy. It's just it's just, it's just big facts. That's uh, what it is. Yeah, I guess, but I'm just I don't like him at all. No, I don't. I, yeah, I, I don't I, care. I for would him. draft him if he was like there in like the thirteenth, twelfth, thirteenth round. Like I'll be sure. like, oh sure, Deshaun Jackson, why not? Yeah, but, because listen, if Alshon Jeffrey gets hurt or something, he's the main. He's the main wide receiver there. That's yeah, a nice. A, a lot of targets getting eaten up by the tight end spot too in Philly, though. Yeah, they do. I think they're going to incorporate I think Dallas more two Go- wide receivers. Goddard is going to be, I think, a, a, tight end, a, yeah. a bigger involvement this year. That's it. No, 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 not yet. Still talking about the Eagles, but we're still we're still, ha- we're still having a productive conversation here. Uh, I like that weapons group for Wentz, though. When you think about Alshon one side, D Jacks the other side, Ertz, Goddard going up the middle. Yes, they don't have a running back yet, but when they do sign one, I mean, they're listen, committee running back anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, a lot of good weapons there. So this this I, this bumps Carson Wentz probably up. Like a few spots in my and rankings, the fact that Foles is gone now, so he you goes don't have from to worry, worry about that. He goes from quarterback three to quarterback one now in my fantasy rankings. Is for, snacks? Do you agree? Did you hear that analysis? What did he shut the fuck up? I'm. So, I agree. Listen, the no. Bills wait. The Bills signed Tyler Croft to a three year, eighteen point seven five million dollar contract. Well, Bills are gonna bill. That's <laughs> Bills. Are Tyler gonna fucking bill. Croft, eighteen million for Bills. Three years? Bill. I can I, I I will say one thing, but unbiased aside. I hate Deshaun Jackson. He's the second. Do you love Eli more than you hate Deshaun Jackson? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you hate Deshaun Jackson more than you love breathing? More than you love bread? Mm. More than you love pasta? Pizza? Macaroni. It's macaroni. Pasta, it's macaroni. Macaroni. Whatever you want to call it. Fucking uh, no, I love those things more than I hate him. Okay. But I will say, you guys are right, that... um. That deep dart with Wentz and, and Deshaun, it's a, it's a good fit. You got to like that. I hate, has I hate that monster say, arm. I'm taking my own bias out of it. This is a, this is our podcast. This is a fancy football podcast. I will say it's a very good fit. Yeah. And I think he's back home, and he's going he's gonna to be comfortable. It's a great offensive system, too. So, yeah. I mean, how how are you going to go wrong? That's so, a good one. So, two more really quick free agent signings I want to get to. Adam Humphreys goes to the Titans. Four irrelevant. years, $36 million. <laughs> irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yeah. What this does do, though... <laughs> Djax, Adam Humphreys, both gone. Chris Godwin steps up into that wide receiver two role. Yes. Oh, I absolutely I like that. love. Do you Chris have those, num- like those numbers when uh, Djax wasn't on the field? These are the splits right now with fucking Godwin and Godwin on the field without Deshaun Jackson, and he's gonna occupy what I, dude. I, I think they're gonna use him in that slot. I think they're gonna use him in the slot. They better. I think they're gonna have Mike Evans on the outside. Chris Godwin, he's big too. He's like six one, and he's someone that has that like. Ah, dude, I'm imagine all him going Godwin over the you. middle like that. Like yes. you're not—he's a locomotive. You're not gonna. I love that. By the way, have you guys noticed the last few weeks? 
Locomotive is my new word. I've I, I've heard you say it. <laughs> I've heard you say it four times tonight. I don't think I heard you say it at all yeah, in the last couple the, of weeks. This is though. the first I've noticed. We'll it. go back and look because I won't. I'm not going to do that because you guys don't watch. I time. watch. I'm literally here with you. I don't need to watch it. You never said locomotive before. It's another not true. Your, another one of your lies. <laughs> it's not true. Actually, go back and look. Big lies only for you. God damn it! <laughs> go back and look. <laughs> all right, so Adam Humphreys. <laughs> Irrelevant. Can't believe they just paid him thirty-six million dollars. Whatever. Well, the Jets should have. I don't. Give I think he would have been nice to with the Jets. He probably would have. Yeah, I, I, I picture white rather, guys on the Jets. If I'm the Jets, no I, other. I would take Humphreys over take Crowder. Humphreys over Crowder any day. Could care less. They're all replaceable. You're right. The Jets are yeah. always going to. Tell you, Danny Amendola for one year is four million. Unbelievable. Steal. I bet you he puts up a, a similar numbers to all of these guys. And you know what? You know what's funny? Like before free agency start, I think it was what today's Monday, Sunday night. They were saying like they had mutual interest. Amendola and the Patriots. The Patriots, yeah. I, I, liked, I was I like, that would have been sick. That would have been, that been sick. Yeah, that would have been pretty Sure cool. enough, the next day, he, yeah. goes, he goes to Patriots 2.0. The other one Patricia. I wanted to talk about real quick, Mike Davis to the Bears. Now, no one gives a shit about Mike Davis, but what this does is it gets him out of the Seattle backfield. It also kind of dispels those, uh, you know, any other free agent signings that might have been to the Bears. I thought Mark Ingram was a great fit there because he's similar to Jordan Howard, but he's a much better in the passing game. Uh, so that probably gets him out of the way, and I doubt they draft. They use one of their draft picks on a running back, and I thought that that was a spot that uh, they probably could have, you know, been one of the teams that use use a draft pick on the rookie. I was really kind of hoping that the Bears would have signed Le'Veon Bell. Yep. Why did you want that? Because his the best part of his game is receptions. I know, but yeah, I, uh, Mitch Trubisky that would have been great. But Tariq Cohen, fuck. Tariq I understand Cohen. that, but I, I, I think I Le'Veon mean, Bell is. Is is here to come. well? We haven't seen him. In a but year. they're not going right. to stop using Cohen. No, of course not. Of this course only, not. That would only so, hurt. Okay, Bell. so why can't you do a shotgun with two guys on the side? Yeah, you can. Why can't you, you can. spread it out? You can. Matt just, Nagy's I just, an offense. I, I love Matt Nagy's offense genius. He comes from the Andy Reid tree. Okay, but Bell goes to tree. the Bears where Tariq Cohen is there. He doesn't get three hundred touches. I don't think. No, you're right. I agree. But that, I that also kills his fantasy value. Okay, maybe fair. not. He'll get a lot of receptions, but like fair point. I just think. I think Olivia Bell would, would thrive in that system. I like that. I do. Just because the, he's a he'd great thrive. coach. He's yeah. a great coach, offensive mind. He, he is. He's he get the ball weapons. around. He would get the ball around. Mitch. And Mitch Trubisky, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I test alone. I watched you in the wild card game when you fucking couldn't beat the Eagles, you scumbag motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, those backs out of the backfield, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Who are you going to throw to? Boom, they boom, can assimilate yeah, the offense to him. ball fast as Olivia. Yeah. Exactly. Well, That's what I'm saying. I like it. Well, I don't think it's going to happen now. It's not going to happen. $6 million no, in Mike not. Davis. He's going to go to the Jets and his career is going to be over. Yeah, pretty much. So that's all. Jordan that's all Howard's we got. probably going to get shipped out. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, well, there's smoke, right. there's fire there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah sure. he's if, if he's not way. just benched, then whatever. But he's going to be on his way out. That was uh, all the free agent signings so far. There are still a lot of guys left on the, on the wire, pretty much, right? And one of the things Golden we Tate. wanted to do was kind of talk about. We, we're all, we're all, we're all going to name one player or signing in free agency that we would like to see for fantasy football. Um, would anyone like to volunteer to start? Otherwise, I'm going to pick randomly. Snacks has his hand raised, so we're going to go with Animal. Perfect. Because I'm hoping that he's <laughs> was on the same round I stole You're his. a good leader, Nick. But, um, you are. <laughs> just for the, uh, the simple fact, I want to see Odell Beckham Jr. traded because— This is not a free agent signing. Uh, it's trade or free agent signing. Okay. Right? Oh, you're right. You know what? You're the producer. You you got officially promoted to producing, and it was my bad. I didn't read it. I I trade read it. or free agent signing. OBJ, to the 49 49ers. No, to the Packers. Okay. I, Play you with know Aaron Rodgers. I'm done with this shit. I, I, are you <laughs> kidding me? For a, for an insane fantasy impact was the, the question. Okay. Who How? would you like to see I thought traded? you meant realistic. That could be realistic. That could happen. Okay. Go ahead. I think Can, Odell could be traded. Continue. Before... The before the draft, not getting traded. Not getting traded. A few moments later, it is done. Odell Beckham traded from the New York Giants to the Cleveland Browns. We are still working out the uh, working to figure out the final details on this one. But Beckham is gone, and John Dorsey is all in right now. Maybe not to the Packers, but for an insane fantasy production, that's where I would like to see him go. Odell teamed up with Aaron Rodgers. Bump Odell up to my probably my wide receiver two, maybe even my three. His ceiling that? is not anything you worry about, though. His ceiling is the roof. The ceiling is the roof. Let's make it happen. You're just nervous about the shit around him. Yes. I mean, about his injuries and shit. Not even that. I just don't That's think Eli I mean. can get the job done. I think Odell needs a, a, 
a better quarterback. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go. pick an actual free agent who's still on the market. Let's go for it. And something that's not a fantasy. That's that was the even question. though we're talking. Oh, is that what it is? You want I would fan- actually like to see Aaron Rodgers uh, go over to the Lions. I would like to see Aaron Rodgers go over to the Chiefs, maybe. I or wish Saquon Barkley would come to the Falcons. I wish Saquon Barkley would go to the Chiefs. Imagine that. You do? That wouldn't make any sense. Not really, but. For fantasy, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to stick to free agency. Okay. I would like Golden Tate on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm, that was. Okay. I love that. Because Juju on the outside, I I've always loved Golden Tate. You've known I always loved Golden Tate. Yeah, you're a little. He's had I've been Golden Tate's been on my fantasy team for like in the E Town Get Down League for like eight out of the eleven years. Literally, it's not even a joke. And he will see so many targets with Juju getting all the attention on the outside. Golden gets it all on the inside. Slot receiver is perfect. You rather him in Pittsburgh or Indy? Oh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. I think he does better in fantasy wise. He probably does better in Indy. Yeah, but. I, I like him in Pittsburgh because I think the targets are going to be there in Pittsburgh. Oh, ooh, that's that's tough. I wrote down a that's few. A, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. I wrote down a few, and uh, you know, one quarterback. We, there's no really other quarterbacks on the on the market. I would have actually really liked to have seen Tyrod Taylor go to the Redskins. I think Tyrod going to the Redskins only for Darius Geis's purpose. Don't give a fuck about Tyrod Taylor. Read Read option, they got Case Keenum. Do you remember in Washington what RG3 did for fucking Alfred Morris? Yes. He was the that would be cool. Top five running back I could care fantasy. less what Tyrod yeah. would do He was there. top five running back in fantasy. But that would have absolutely... That, year. that, that would have been great for Darius, guys. So I, I would have liked to have seen that. But they got Case Keenum, whatever. Um, that team's a shit show. There's nothing else that really excites me. The two guys I had on my list were Golden Tate and John Brown. I think one oh, of them... John Brown, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I think one of them makes sense for Pittsburgh, as you said. And I think one of them would make sense for Green Bay. Or, or I was saying, how about Golden Tate reunites in Seattle with Russell Wilson? They need something going on there, dude. They need some weapons for they Wilson, do. man. Yeah. See, remember, yeah. when, remember we talked what about mean, and they have who named Doug their Baldwin fucking was hurt last year. That's so Doug what? He's Baldwin everything. Is Thirty fucking years old. He's one wide, wide receiver. Good. Good. It's a great he's, receiver. He's not great. That's all. No, that's all no. Russell Wilson needs. That's all the weapons he needs. No, I'm just he saying. Doug like Baldwin didn't have weapons. Okay, Tyler Lockett's solid. Yeah. Put you know Tyler Lockett I like had a that very a lot. fluky season last year though. He's great. He's a great receiver, but he had a Lockett fluky season. Lockett and Baldwin season. put fucking Tate in the middle again. That's a little a Dude, bunch of Golden little fuckers Tate running around. Yeah. In Seattle. Yeah, it would, it would they be need good, to use their but... first round pick, pick number twenty one on either Noah Fant or TJ Hockenberg. They need to get a tight. Yeah, I would love that. I think they need to get. You don't tight think end. they got to show up that offensive line first? That offensive line is pretty brutal. Yeah, the offensive line is brutal. They got a lot better last year than they had. They been did in the previous the second five years. half of the year. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, this that's been the case for the last fucking five you're years. You're right. You're they, right. They and, but Russell Wilson can scramble. They out. They wanted to go so. with Rashad Penny over a lineman. So if, if right. we're gonna go in that game, I'm just gonna. Start you might as well go no, that I no want. fan. Yeah, fuck yeah. the O, o- line. Yeah. I think yeah. a tight end would be there. But yeah, uh, the the guy I'm most excited about is John Brown, and I have like four landing spots that I think really. I'd, make I'd sense. like to hear this because he was the second one I was gonna say. So so Pittsburgh, Golden Tate was good. I think John Brown fits in Pittsburgh as well because they need a field stretcher. Juju's not a field stretcher. He's not a deep threat guy. He's great yak at all after the catch amazing but they need a guy who can beat someone deep guy john brown can do that um so pittsburgh is good staying in the division cleveland cleveland yeah yep. i knew it he yeah. is he's antonio callaway better he's antonio who callaway catch catches the ball. Yeah, exactly. Callaway. So give, baker, the ball. give baker give uh, baker john brown there I, I i like that a lot who else we got here i said green bay um you know Ooh, maybe, green bay's a good one green bay said Devontae adams yeah you know what i mean that's Devontae nice. adams a lead nice. possession receiver john brown is goddamn underrated dude i got some stats yes, after well, this listen he's underrated I'm, I'm gonna roll off. I'm gonna roll down this John Brown right now. So, Max, put the microphone away. Let's rip. For real. Come on, bro. Lock it up. Lock it up. You lock it up. Do you know how to put that on? No, you fucking. Doesn't. You are. Uh, you are some level of. Just hold that. I literally uh, just went like that. Of unbelievableness. All right, so I'm gonna talk to the people right now. I'll wait for you guys to finish up. Back to our regu- regularly scheduled programming. Uh, yeah, so okay. you put John Brown on the opposite side of Devontae Adams, who's an elite possession receiver. I mean, they have those three rookies they drafted last year. None of them really exploded. Right. I would like to see maybe Equinemius St. Brown get a chance, but Jerron Allison played five He's games, big. whatever. Another fit I would see is Tampa Bay. I think John Ooh, Brown, because re- remember, yeah. he his 1,000-yard season was under Bruce Arians in Arizona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they get rid of DJX. Put Here's Mike Evans, aerial attack. fill right in. Exactly. Mike Evans, John Brown on the outside, Chris Godwin running across, across the slot. I like that a lot. Right. Don't forget what John Brown did last year with Joe Flacco as the quarterback. I went through their first seven games. Listen to these Before numbers. Lamar Jackson, he had good numbers. Through the first seven games of the year, 
28 receptions, 54 targets, 558 yards, four touchdowns. If we pace those numbers out to a full 16 games, full season, 64 catches, 1,275 receiving yards, 9.1 touchdowns. Dude, that's like wide receiver what? 214 <laughs> half PPR fantasy points, wide receiver 11. Between I was Robert just going to say wide receiver 15. Yeah, right? wider, between Solid. Robert Woods and Stephon Diggs. Yeah. John Brown is still good. He just yes. needs he needs a lot of things to go right for him to sign for a good team and stay healthy. But he's absolutely a late round guy that if he goes to a good team, you know, if things break right, I think you're looking at really, really good upside there. As soon as Lamar Jackson, like you said, came in, every, yeah, that, whole pass, sneak, that whole passing off. John Brown, sneaky shit. value. Very sneaky. Yeah. Sneaky value. Yeah, so he's he's probably the guy I'm most excited about in free agency. That's, that's a good call. Lands, right? That's a good call. Yeah, so that's all we got for free agent talk. We are going to dive into Jeopardy after this commercial break. All right, we're going to jump into Fantasy Football Jeopardy Animal. Since you are the host, why don't you go go ahead and uh, explain the rules to the to the audience. So it's very simple. I don't know if you're familiar with Jeopardy or not, but basically we are going to have someone pick a category. The categories are talking football, which is actually five questions from an actual episode of Jeopardy. So you, these may look familiar. Famous plays in NFL history, fantasy football, HBO series, and just as a little joke I have in there, uh, My Wife the Tramp. From, <laughs> you, know, you, certain, you know, when you, when you, say, it, when you say a joke, you, you don't tell them that it's a joke. Well, you know, I, have to, I don't have a wife, so I just wanted to make sure that they understood Shit, that. Shit, me either, dog. Let's get married. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to pick the category and the number <laughs> of the amount. They'll both buzz in. They both have buzzers. And uh, if you get the answer right, you will get those points. If you get it wrong, you lose those points. And it's very Does simple. my buzzer work on vibrate mode? I do not know. What we'll have to find out. Yeah, we're I'm sure out. it'll be fine. It just comes up on the screen, yes or no. All right. So oh, I'll, I'll let Snacks. Uh, oh, and the loser. Yeah, that's up to you guys on what your punishment's going to be. I think we do the cinnamon challenge. I don't even know what the cinnamon challenge you is. You take one spoonful. One spoonful of cinnamon, and you have to eat it. Okay. Attempt to eat it. You could put some garlic on top of it if you want. Well, as long as there's garlic. I got garlic involved. powder. Is that your game face you're trying to put on over there? You're not scary. You look like fucking Eli when you put that game face on. Two times that's a bowl. better Two that's a better game face when I say that to you. All right, let's get this started. Snacks, I'm gonna let you ladies first. All right, all right. Let's do talking football for 200. All righty. Tom Landry perfected the shotgun formation with this team. Dallas Cowboys. You didn't say it in the form of a question though, so I cannot give you the points. I'm sorry. The correct answer is what is the Dallas Cowboys? Or actually, probably what are? But the best offense is a good defense. Sorry, bud. I have to. Why don't you go fuck your mother, Matt? <laughs> All right, I minus. will go with uh, famous plays in NFL history for 100. Famous plays in NFL history for 100. A 32 yard gain during a drive on which the Giants scored the game winning touchdown. Sorry, but Nick has already buzzed in, the captain, actually. What? Who is. I forgot who the guy was even. David Tyree? What is the helmet catch? Wait, it wasn't the These player? Are famous plays in NFL history. I'm embarrassed. Famous plays. I got to lock this up. I would have got that He's one. He's got to right? start paying attention. Was it him who made that catch? Yes. It yes. Was. Okay. It's minus 100 for you. Love that. All right. Good start. Over here. <laughs> We're looking snacks. good right now. Talking football for 100. Your choice. Do or don't. Name this play in which the QB runs the ball and can choose to pitch it to another back. Captain. What is the option? Correct. His shit's not even going off. It, he I just doesn't have, have the sound on, but it's on the screen. On. The arrow goes on the head. Whoever clicks it first. This is don't fucking be a little bitch. This is bullshit. I didn't get my fucking money. Go I fuck got yourself. you. I oh. got you. I'm about to say, I need my money, dog. All right, you get to choose again. Let's go uh, talking football for 300. Talking football for 300. By signaling for one of these, a return. What is a fair catch? Get fucked. Damn. Snacks falling behind. Shut the fuck up, Max. Give me that three hundo. Give it to me. All right, you get to go again. Famous plays in NFL history for 200. With 16 seconds remaining in the game, the Tennessee Titans threw a lateral pass across the field on the ensuing kick return and ran 75 yards to score the winning touchdown. Do we have a timer on this? Do we have a timer? I turned it off because it makes a lot of What's noise. What's the Jeopardy and... normal time? Do, do, do. Like, like yeah. what is it, 50, 10 seconds? This has to I be mean, you Give us an answer. What is the Music City Miracle? Love that. No good. No. What? 
for too much time, dude. Are you fucking? There's not a timer. I mean, that was a lot of time. Go. It doesn't matter. You. It was a, that was a lot of time. We should, we should give him half the I'm, points. I'm getting half robbed. The half the points. Half the points. I'm getting robbed. We'll give you I'm half getting the robbed. You took forever. I'm getting robbed. I'm getting robbed. Yes or no? Did you take forever? Yes, but there wasn't a timer. We'll give you half the points, and you still get to pick. All right. Oh, fuck yourself. Famous plays three hundred. Famous plays for three hundred. On fourth and goal toward the end of the second quarter, the quarterback moved up behind his offensive lineman, and the ball was directly snapped to the running back, who pitched the ball to the tight end, who passed the ball to a wide open quarterback for the touchdown. Oh my god. I don't even what what category is this again? Famous plays. The Statue of Liberty. What is the Statue of Liberty? I don't know. I didn't even fucking. What is the Philly special? <clears throat> I wouldn't even have guessed that. Come on. No, I wouldn't have said it because I hate Philly. Oh, <laughs> you mean you literally wouldn't have guessed it? I knew what it was. Oof. All right. Back to this you. This is Max. really cool, by the way. Back this to is you. Pretty gnarly. Talking football, 400. Talking football for 400. These penalties are simultaneous violations by the offense and defense that cancel each other out. What is offset? Offset. What are offsetting penalties? He's going to get that? No, he's not going to get that. What? No, you're not going to get the points for that. I'm sorry. Good. You said what is offset. That's you, not That's not a correct answer. I was asking you who, what is offset. Sorry. <laughs> oh, like like the, the artist? Yeah, I want to know more about him. Oof. That was minus 400. Oh, God, that was bad. You got to start thinking about these before you answer. I don't now. like Remember, to think. I'm winning. Right? Remember, you can, yeah, you're with minus 100, you're winning, yes. You actually have to pay when you leave tonight, though. <laughs> yeah. If you leave with minus 100. All right. All right. Let's go. HBO Series 100. Love All that. Right. That's what I'm really waiting for. This HBO show's 1999 debut is said to have begun the TV's new golden age. What is The Sopranos? Very nice. Congrats. Thank you. You're even now. It's my favorite show all right. of all time. You pick again. Come on. Let's keep it moving. HBO series 200. An independent film starring Vincent Chase, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, where it got rave reviews, but was ultimately blocked from a national release. What is Queens Boulevard? Nice job. That is bullshit. You. Nice you job. You know we both knew that. Yeah, Obviously. of course. You ever coming back? You kidding? I am Queens Boulevard. All right, you get to choose, Nick. What is HBO's uh, <laughs> HBO series <laughs> three hundred? What is the HBO series for three hundred? You are fucking out. Oh. What is Eastbound and Down? Gabriel, hit me up with the shrimp. Are you out of your fucking mind, April? Very good. I I also said who is Kenny Powers would have been. And it was series, series. It was not, series. not person. Right. So yeah. yes, but so we'll give him half points. No, it's all points. <laughs> all right, look at you. All right, moving up. All right, fantasy foosball one hundred. All time highest scoring fantasy season for a quarterback. Who is Patrick Mahomes? Wait, wait, wait. First of all, it's me. Second of all, is this the player, or are you asking for the point amounts? All time highest scoring fantasy season for a quarterback. Yes. Who is Patrick Mahomes? Who's Peyton Manning? That's fake news. Patrick Mahomes had the highest fantasy season ever last year. Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> no. So I will take. I believe me. I've done this. I've done it. I think he does this for a living. <laughs> Everything I looked up said Peyton Manning's fifty-five touchdowns in two thousand thirteen. No, it's fake news. All right. So you know what? It's okay. It gets washed. By the way, damn. It was my call. I should have hit that. I hit that button quicker. Yeah, but it still goes by whatever pops up on the screen. So All right, whatever. This Whatever. one will be. Uh, how about it's, this? It's, it's did, I get, did I get my points? We'll give you a hundred and you a hundred. This is not. I was the first one to buzz <laughs> it, and I got the correct answer. I want yeah, all the fucking points. I had it wrong, so that question is void. It doesn't count. It's a voided question. Avoided you question. got it wrong. I'm pissed. Fact checkers. Do you not, get the pick. Go not ahead, check pick. All the facts there. You fantasy get football two hundred. Responsible for the greatest fantasy football season ever. Who is Ladanian Tomlinson? Fuck. Correct answer. <laughs> Fantasy football 300. Fantasy football 300. 2018 half PPR finished season as running back eight from fantasy football today. James, who is James White? That is bullshit. 
<laughs> that is bullshit. Let's fucking go. You literally gave it us that answer. Before, head, he didn't give us that. Bullshit. I knew it. No, no, no. That he didn't give us bullshit. He did. He did Stop know yelling. It, Stop he yelling. When it. he asked the question, did I immediately say it was James White or not? So you could he have did. known that as just as much as I did. He didn't know it. Suck my dick. Yeah. No. All right. Nick gets to choose. Fucking points, bitch. Fantasy football four hundred. This wide receiver has more fantasy points throughout the past three seasons than any other wide receiver. Who is Antonio Brown? That's not right. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was yeah. gonna be Julio. I thought so too. That's why fuck, I fucking said it. Fuck. Oh man. That's big. All right. Snacks choice. All right. Famous plays in NFL history. Four hundred. Fuck. This is easily my worst. On Thanksgiving Day, 2012, in front of the home crowd of 79,000 during a primetime television audience. What is the butt fumble? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to read can't it for read. Those, those that can't I can't read see this. But All right, what's yes. the score? Well, after that. 1,000 to 600. Let's go. It's pretty close. All the lot, big money players. I'm big down money on the board. How? You're Got winning. Big money on the oh, board here. Oh. You're the fucking crab down oh. there. Oh. You crabby fuck. Famous play is 500. And his play is 500. Get that shit out of my way. During the 2011 NFL Wild Card Playoff game in the fourth quarter, when a running back broke nine tackles during the course of a 67 yard touchdown run, uh, Captain. Who is Beast Mode? Marshawn Lynch? Sorry. What is Beast, Beast Quake? Quake? Remember, this is Plays, famous Plays. I didn't realize that was the name of the play. Was that, is that named a famous play? Beast Quake? Beast Quake. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I've heard of it before. Yes. I'll give it to him. It's minus 500. That's He's right on that. So do I get to go? Oof. It's fine. Yes, you Two dubs go. right now. Get me right by. All right. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't never scared. Talking football, 500. Defensive line that took the Vikings to four Super Bowls. Who are the purple people eaters? That's good correct. Time. How's it going? I know nothing about NFL history. I knew the first two categories would fuck me. And you can still catch up here. It's going to be. Yeah, I could do the math. Just keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you Got to get them all. Uh, HBO series for Han. Starring as a fictionalized version of himself, this series follows his life as a semi-retired television writer and producer in Los Angeles. What is Curb Your Enthusiasm? Mm. Larry, who is Larry David? Huge. The question asked. You know, but it's an HBO series. Could be anything involving an HBO series. All right, that's fair. I, I didn't. He didn't gain any, so whatever. I well, still lose. Fucking yeah. answer. Just as good as me gaining is you losing. Oh, you subtracting it? Yeah. That's bullshit. HBO for five. Max's opinion bonus question worth double points, everybody. This show based around the NFL was a great idea with a lot of potential, but it just doesn't What work. is Hard Knocks? Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm going to give him a chance to steal because this is a double bonus question. That's what wrong. is Ballers? Oh, Correct. no. Hard Knocks is a great show. <laughs> Look at his face. Wait, wait, wait. That, that's an opinion question. Yeah. That's an opinion question. Exactly. Throw it out. That's Throw what it, it said. Throw it out. Don't give any. Don't, don't <laughs> minus or anything. That's really funny. I'm fucking pissed. I knew it. As as I knew. Hard Knocks has had shitty ass seasons. Hard Knocks, plenty of them. Yeah, but Hard Bowlers. But it's not up to you. It's just fucking right. bullshit. It was it Max's was a, opinion. It was a Max's opinion. It's like a double jeopardy. Bonus you question. Right, but that fucks me now because now I can't. Now you're the well, worst. You, if you got it right, that was a big chance for you to win. You had the five hundred. So sad. I'm not I, gonna give any points for that. My wife, the Fantasy tramp, five hundred. All right. The movie I stole this from. Oh, gotta be quicker on that buzzer. I literally don't even know what you're talking about. Do you not about. have an answer? I'll let him a chance to steal. I don't want to steal. That's bullshit. There's no chance to steal. I'm trying to keep him in it. You're crushing him, you know? No, because he's going to get minus five, and then I'm going to get the next no, fantasy good. 500. I don't know. It. No? No. What is Billy Madison? Remember on the thing he's got on yeah, the Yeah, I know the fucking thing, my wife, the, my wife the That is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, let's go. Kind of genius. Last though. question, fantasy 500. Wait, wait. Is there, is there like implications? What's the score? If again? I get this, we're tied. Can you not have, read? Um, there's a final Jeopardy no, I can't. question. Oh, it's 600, 100, 500 dollar question less. Let's go. All right. All right. Fantasy football for 500. The 2016 RB1 in all scoring format snacks. Who is Adrian Peterson? Wrong. Fuck. Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Can I steal this for points? No, the next one is there's a final oh, Jeopardy. Okay. So you're. Go. Fuck. Who is David Johnson? Come Remember? On, no. that was... 
You owned yeah. him that year, didn't you? Oh, no. J- uh, fucking, what's I this? I thought that was 2017. Oh, nah. yeah. It was the year before. Agent so did. we're tied up. Let's Fuck! Go. That's huge. Okay, so. I was better at that trivia, by the way. Told you you needed to come, come bike. Fuck! Enter your wager Enter now. Enter your wager because, I mean, you guys only have 100 each. Oh, so. shit. We could do it on here. Yeah. yeah. It's Final we Jeopardy. Wager on here? I don't even remember what the question was. I have no oh, idea. Oh, you have a special question? I think yeah, I had to write it Do you it know in. what the subject is? I honestly have no idea. I did it really late last night. Yeah. You, you have, have a hundred. You, you both 100. have a hundred. Surprisingly, you're tied. Show the show them, yeah. Fuck. I feel like Iz is a little fucker, and he's gonna go with one probably. All right, so you're in. I'm not in yet. I'm just tying my wager. <clears throat> this is really good, man. Thank you. I can't. Is, wait, is this is this like whoever buzzes in first, or are we both? No, you have to like write it? an answer, and I believe. Okay. All right. All right. I believe that's how they do it. We'll find out. <laughs> how do I type it in? I don't know if you can. It, does it let you type it in? It doesn't let me type it in. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Don't you Google it. The movie? How do I answer? I guess you just have to write it down. All right. Spelling don't count, right? No. All right, so you write down your final answer. The question is, remember the time he showed up at halftime and the Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl? All right, we're both like... Yeah. All right, they both have it right. Who is Bobby (laughs) Boucher? But now the question is, who wagered what? I don't remember what I wagered, to be honest. No fucking way. We <laughs> wagered the exact same amount. <laughs> oh my god. What'd you what did we do? Twelve? What'd you guys wager? Is that what we did eight or twelve? I forget which I did. That's incredible. I did a hundred. You wagered a hundred? Yeah, you must have too. We had a hundred left. No, Wait, I think it... the thing's just stupid. He actually technically wins. Wait, Wait what the wagered, fuck? He wagered a hundred. I guess it didn't like put in the new score. Oh, because it didn't show you who was right and yeah. who was wrong. Fuck! Yeah. I thought you were going to fucking wager zero. You only Kill wagered me. 12? <laughs> well, I thought he was going to go with zero. There's no upside. No. Fuck. Wow, so congrats to our first ever Jeopardy winner, Snacks. Look at you, buddy. <laughs> God Get damn it. That, chair. that was fun. That was a good time. Except yeah. for those embarrassing answers in the beginning. Yeah, you guys didn't read a couple of the questions. All right, let's get but, that cinnamon. You know. All right, yeah, well. Yo, by the way, by the way, this is two for two for Nikki Snacks beating our boss leader in challenges. Scott Hansen, Chris Hansen came one, Jeopardy came two. Bada boo! You're fucking fired. I dare you to fire me. You ju- I just did. All right, I'll get cinnamon. Radio Goo Goo. Great work, baby. Thank you. That was awesome. I have to cancel. All right, so as a loser punishment, I have to do the cinnamon challenge if y'all are not aware of what this is. Take a spoonful of cinnamon, and you have to fucking eat it without any water. Now, I might ruin my lens, because I've done this before. Getting the water for standby. (laughs) So it doesn't die on us. All right. I I think I've successfully seen people uh, do this. Let's make sure that's that's Is that enough? That's like a tablespoon, no? Should I yeah. do more? I'll do more for the people. Oh, it's efficient. It's efficient. Yeah, that's good. That's better. That corner was lacking. Whatever. Get that in the camera there. Make sure I see that. Bring it back a little bit for y'all. Winner, winner. By the way, I'm wearing a Shane Falco jersey. That must have been it. I think I'm going to take this really slowly. I thought you were supposed to do it in a time limit. No. Just eat it. And it just never works. No, it's already not going to work. Saw that one coming. <laughs> Starts clowning up your, your esophagus. <laughs> oh! He's spitting the fuck out. <coughs> oh, nice. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, baby. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> <laughs>
Sponsored by Big Dogs Gotta Eat. That's your boss, your leader. He spit the cinnamon right out because he lost to me again. Is there anything he could beat me at? I'm not quite sure. I don't really think so. But I tell you, he's 0 for 2. Chris Hansen, Scott Hansen. I was down for 5 1, beat him. Jeopardy. The beat him. <laughs> not even on. That's, that's not on. That is. That's not. Oh. <laughs> I was fine. I thought I was. Oh, they're hearing me from there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm leaving <coughs> in. So I'm just talking to Mike for no reason. <coughs> yeah. I was fine until you started laughing right behind me. I was going to try to take it slow and keep having like saliva build up slowly and suck it down. It doesn't work like that. And I heard you laugh, and as soon as you got one little like hiccup, then you fucking breathe out like a dragon. Mm -hmm. You're like fucking shoot a fire out your mouth. I yeah. honestly it I looked, just yacked everywhere. In there. It looked like the Game of Thrones trailer. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, that's gonna. Oh man, I got fucking cinnamon all over my back. <laughs> that's why I gave you this, hoping that you would use that. Uh, yeah, no, that's. A, I really was confident about me being no, able to do that. No one gets. All right, well, that's gonna <coughs> wrap up. <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I have cinnamon you. coming out my shit for days. Wrap up the video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll be back next Thursday with another Fade the <laughs> Public <laughs> Podcast. Peace.